All right, let's do another one here. Uh, Chameleon self lock, eight meter, 26 foot tape. So I bought this from Lowe's a couple weeks ago uh, for a project that I was working on. I was actually looking specifically for a metric and uh, standard combined tape measure, which this is. So you've got inches here and centimeters down below. Uh, there are some downsides to having a split rule like this. So uh, when you're measuring across something uh, to mark it, uh, oftentimes you'll find that uh, you're on an awkward side to mark from, right? So you're four inches on this side. If you're trying to measure four inches, uh, getting a mark on this side can be difficult, especially if you're measuring on the edge of a, a board or something. But anyway, I digress. I wanted a tape measure like this. Found these. I uh, thought they were neat. So the, the chameleon here is a self-locking tape measure, which means you really have to push it only to release the blade and pull it back into the unit. The problem is, uh, now that I've had these things, I bought three of them, they're only like 11 bucks at Lowe's, so they're certainly not high, high end, uh, is that they don't lock anymore. And I've only had them for a couple weeks, so that's a real bummer. So what I wanted to do is tear them down and see if there's anything that we can do to fix that problem, because I have three of these in my shop now. Uh, and I do like the blade. I like uh, having both the centimeter rule and the inch rule. Um, but they're useless if they just slide closed in actual work. So a uh, fresh one, when you pull it off the, the package, if you push like this, it just locks right up. So there's definitely an issue uh, with uh, these tapes uh, once they get a little bit of uh, wood dust, dirt on it from use. So I guess it's a fatal flaw, but we're gonna see if we can fix it. At least uh, we'll know what we're getting into here. All right, there's a couple of exposed screws at the back of the tape measure, so uh, go ahead and take the first one off, which is holding the belt clip on. Uh, the I'll tell you right out of the gate, this is a, a Phillips one size screwdriver, um, and the card that this comes on says, don't disassemble the tape measure. So yeah, probably not a great idea. These are generally filled with springs and such, so we may just explode this all over the bench, but we're gonna go nice and slow here. So two more uh, fasteners here and then on the other side we've got a label and I can feel a dent here but I don't necessarily feel a fastener head so I'm gonna tr see what we can do here oh 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 nice okay so excellent um, yeah it's a cartridge so the cartridge itself is wound up and the tape yeah, you can, you can get this open without actually unrolling the whole tape. So I see the lever action, maybe you guys can see it too. And what it is, is it's kind of a wedge inside here that it's pushing into the roll so that when you force it back, uh, it should put the brakes on as the tape's coming back around and then it wedges itself between the incoming feed as well. Uh, and that really should be a pretty good brake mechanism, but you can see how slippery it is right here. There's no grip, there's no grip. And sure enough, that's a piece of rubber. I can feel it. It's like a soft durometer piece of rubber. So if we pull this thing out, let's see if we can. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this little foot here is the wedge. And if you can see maybe on the camera, a little gray dust, I can see wood dust basically stuck to this foot on both sides. All right, so these do basically in any sort of use, high use situation, they're just gonna stop gripping. Um, that's, it's kind of annoying. All right, let me get some uh, alcohol. We'll see if we can clean it up, see if it'll grip again. Alcohol, all right. Yeah, so this wedge here, I can see this little nub. These are probably made in mass and then they just push a pin in here to keep them held in place. Uh, there's a spring for the tension. Uh, and then there's actually a pin in the body of the tape that pivots. That's actually the pivot uh, that pushes it into the roll of tape like that. So when you push back on this, it pulls it away from the tape, which allows it to retract. Um, so yeah, we can see dirt and collected stuff on this uh, and we need to get that off if we want this to work again. The problem is, uh, even though it's only three screws, it's just, it's gonna happen in just normal use, right? I've only used this tape measure for two weeks uh, and it's been doing uh, a wood project out in the garage. I'm building a camper shell uh, interior for my truck. And I thought these were just really neat because I wanted that metric measure as long as, uh, as well as the inch measure. But uh, clearly we've got an issue here. So, yep, that stuff just comes right off. We'll let that dry a little bit. 
And what we need to do is to put the pin back into the body of the tape. So there's a pin retention hole right there under the opening. And we need to swing the foot back in and then give it on an angle here to get it started on the pin. Now, I don't want this to go launching around, so let me hold that down. Oh, nope, we're gonna have to get more tricky than that. Oh yeah, there we go. So you gotta hold that spring down and then you kind of work the foot, the grab foot into the, uh, the slot there. Uh, we lost this, which is kind of like a blade stabilizer for the bottom of the tape. Yeah, and that just hangs in there like that. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, you can already tell. Look at it grip. I don't want to let go of the, the roll, but you can tell it's not allowing me to push it back down because that thing's nice and fresh, clean again. And as soon as we get to using this in the shop, we're going to have the same issue, but hey, at least we know and we can fix it. So I don't know. Let me, let me get it back together here. Just give me a second. I don't know what else to call that thing. It just looks like a little stabilizer for me. It holds the blade. All right, and then top back on here. Get the blade stabilizer lined up. Okay, so no fasteners in it yet. You can see how much I can push on it with it cleaned up. And then, yeah, that, I mean, works great when it's when it's all cleaned up like that so there you go the uh chameleon self-lock tape measure uh, a neat idea and they're certainly like i said not all that terribly unaffordable at 11 bucks a piece uh, but you're definitely getting what you paid for here uh, as a home gamer i suppose i think this is probably going to be okay for me i can run through and clean them up in cycles if i need to um but yeah, if you were if you were actually a production shop, these things are these these are a joke. They're they're, they're no good. You'd you'd be fighting the you'd be fighting the lock mechanism more than it's, it'd be worth, I think, to keep clean. An interesting development, anyway. Uh, also interesting. Uh, there's a whole bunch of tape measures at both Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, this was the only one that I could find uh, that had a metric uh, measure alongside of an inch measure. So apparently, I wanted something that was quite strange. I didn't do any Googling on this. It was kind of one of those things where I was out and about and thought it was uh, a neat thing to look for. And this was the one I found amongst many other on the shelf. So there you go. She's fixed up. Good for another two weeks, maybe. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.